Alcohol Abuse Amongst the Elderly, A Complete Guide Addiction is defined by the American Psychiatric Association as a brain disease that is manifested by compulsive substance use despite harmful consequence. It is an illness, just like cancer and heart disease are, and not something people prolong to do as a choice. Those who suffer from addiction often continue to participate in whatever substance they're addicted to. When they know it is detrimental to their health and life, and when they're aware of treatment options. It is nearly impossible for them to stop on their own and without help. Aging can lower the body's tolerance for alcohol. Older adults generally experience the effects of alcohol more quickly than when they were younger. This puts alcohol abuse in seniors at higher risks for falls, car crashes, and other unintentional injuries that may result from drinking. Just as there are different reasons why people start consuming alcohol or drugs, there is a wide range of symptoms, both physical and mental, that may reveal an addiction. These symptoms may be in plain sight, but they can also be hidden away, because they're only partaking in their addiction in solitude. Some of these symptoms include Short-term memory loss Bloodshot eyes Sudden fluctuations in weight Becoming isolated from family and friends How to get help No matter your age, there are ways to get help if you're suffering from alcohol addiction, especially as an elder. The first step though, is identifying the problem. This is either a realization and acceptance the individual has to come to, which may come at the hands of a diagnosis from a doctor after seeking help for various medical issues. No matter the situation and how advanced the addiction and health problems caused by it are, you must remember that addiction is an illness, and not a choice. It's not something that can be dropped easily. In fact, quitting an alcohol addiction cold turkey can potentially be fatal. Alcohol withdrawal symptoms can include Anxiety Raised blood pressure Sweating Insomnia Stomach issues seizures, tremors, delirium tremens, severe confusion. This is why it's suggested that when you're quitting alcohol, you slowly wean yourself off, especially if you're inebriated in the, the days prior to your decision. You should set up a schedule detailing how many drinks per day you will drink, reducing your intake by two drinks per day, until you are no longer drinking. For instance, if you average 10 drinks per day, spend five days reducing your intake to eight, then six, then four, then two, and then on the fifth day, you can begin sobriety. When looking for ways to get sober and begin your path to recovery, there are various treatments you can seek. These include Alcoholic Anonymous Support groups like Alcoholic Anonymous are available to share your story and for you to listen to the stories of others to help you relate and recover in a group setting. There are mentors, also known as sponsors, at these meetings who are also going through recovery to help you work through fears, emotions, and temptations. Rehab 
There are both inpatient and outpatient rehab facilities that can tailor to your lifestyle, like if you're working or have children or other people you remain a guardian to. Therapy Working with therapists can help addicts help find underlying causes for why the addiction started in the first place and how you can repair yourself and relationships as you recover.